Kern's a family-owned and operated holding company. We really hate that term, holding, because it, it sounds like you're holding somebody back. And our goal is really to, to allow everybody to flourish. Kern started in 1918 as a uh, coal and ice delivery business. It was founded by my great-grandfather, William, and three of his sons. It went from coal and ice into heating oil and asphalt paving. And being a successful business over the years, we were able to evolve and acquire other operating entities in different fields. And today we find ourselves with four completely unrelated businesses operating throughout North America. Kind of the modern day successor of the original businesses is the paving business. Curran Contracting is one of the largest asphalt contractors in Chicagoland. Operating two asphalt plants, Curran paves anything from expressways to parking lots. Curran is always looking to grow its business and several years ago broadened its focus to include all types of infrastructure work. This has led Curran into excavation, demolition, site remediation, soil stabilization, underground contracting, and supplying construction materials. Recently, Current Contracting expanded its services and expertise with new operations in Texas. Operating out of San Antonio, all of the services Current provides in Illinois are now available to this new market. Well, our tile business is Crossville, uh, located in Crossville, Tennessee. That business is a manufacturing business for porcelain ceramic tile and in the recent past years we've also expanded into the distribution side of the business. What began more than two decades ago as a simple high quality offering of tile has grown into a complete design solution. Whether it's for a commercial or residential application, Crossville's porcelain, glass, metal, and natural stone products set the standard in the domestic tile industry. When it comes to specialty railroad services, Crete, Illinois-based Holland is a leader around the globe. Holland is a worldwide authority on flashbutt welding and provides some of the world's finest track testing services. The combination of skilled engineering, manufacturing, and field experience has enabled Holland's equipment division to deliver state-of-the-art equipment for construction and maintenance for customers around the world. Holland's Rail Car and Locomotive Services Division services the rail industry by cleaning and repairing rail cars, servicing locomotives, and specializes in turnkey transloading facilities. Holland doesn't only clean and repair rail cars, they also unload them. Each year, Holland unloads nearly a million tons of coal. In 1998, Curran acquired a company in Osseo, Wisconsin named Global Finishing Solutions, a world leader in paint spray booth technology. So we make the booth anything from a small tabletop to touch up a part up to something that you can uh, paint a, you know, an airplane in. We do a lot of work for the military, you know, the helicopters, fighter jets. What is it that really, what is the, the similarities between the companies because they're obviously not that similar, paving and tile and paint booths and, and rail and whatnot. It seemed like some of the common threads, uh, you know, and they, their roots were really back from, you know, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my dad, my uncle. We talk about our core values a lot, family, integrity, respect, partnership and improvement are the five core values family being a big part of it, and I think as long as we operate with that as the fundamentals, then the rest of it kind of is a natural thing. It's the atmosphere of the family, of how you support each other. Families can fight, families can disagree with each other, but in the end, families are noted for getting back together, or when their circumstances warrant, everybody comes together um, and provides or covers each other's back, if you will. Um, those are really important parts of what we do here. What respect is the fact that everybody here contributes and everybody here is important. It's not about what your title is. Um, quite frankly, if you look at my business card, there's no title on it. That's done by design. We like to work in partnership with people, partnership with our employees, partnership with our vendors, partnership with our customers. So it really doesn't matter what stakeholder we're, we're talking about, we try to work 
together collaboratively. Integrity would be another one. It really is, what do you do when nobody's watching? Would you live up to the same values as if you're being scrutinized every moment? In reality, if you don't improve, if you don't allow yourself to pursue change on an ongoing basis, whether it's education-wise, whether it's knowledge of an industry, you'll outdate yourself and you're doomed to failure. Change is inevitable and you better embrace it. I'd say we disagree with the philosophy or the, when you read all the business journals talking about the modern world and people changing jobs so many times um, during their careers, we'd prefer to find the right people and see that they stay here for the rest of their careers. When you talk to most of our employees in that regard, I think one of the common comments that you'll hear is, I want to spend the rest of my career working here. I think a lot of companies that have 3,000 or so employees, the guys at the top don't spend that much time dealing with everybody. It's different here. I mean, nothing bothers me more than when somebody, I'll be walking through a plant and somebody will call me Mr. Kern. I'm like, Mr. Kern was my dad or my grandpa or somebody else, but uh, you know, I'm just Mike and I'm just another guy just like the rest of them. You know, you gotta stay connected. I mean, it's really all about people. And if, uh, if you're not involved with the people, uh, things can go south pretty quick, so. Um, and it's what we really enjoy. I guess that's probably, the, it's easy because we enjoy it. I love the job that I do. We've got our 100th anniversary coming up in a number of years. I want to be here for that 100th anniversary and actually be sitting in the chair that I'm in for that celebration.